Man, me, which is Great Beard Curl Father here for another video. This one's going to be a little bit short, and it's going to cover a couple topics that are um, near and dear to what we do. So, the first thing I wanted to go over was about magic and spell casting. Magic and spell casting is meant to be a tool to aid us in our daily life. It is not meant to be used as a be-all, fix-all in lieu of things that we need to use when problems or issues occur or arise in our lifetime. Uh, an example that I want to give is um, when baby girl decides to jump in front of the camera. So, yeah, that's one example. Come on, girl. Get up there. Get up there. So, I guess I'm going to hold her here for a few minutes. Um, yeah, so an example is, let's say that in your lifetime... God is forbid that you develop diabetes. When that happens, there are treatments out there for it, such as, um, in extreme cases, using insulin. Um, don't rely solely on magic for if you did develop diabetes. You can use it as an aid to help you overcome that problem, but it shouldn't be the be-all, end-all resolution to your problem. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Use the known um, fixes that we currently have to help you out along that journey. I have seen instances where people have done something as off the wall as that relying solely on magic or spell work to fix a particular problem that they're having in their life or someone else is having and these people are using magic or spell work to help those other people out and and i'm going to go into an ex one more example that um i ran across yesterday um a person asked a question on Reddit about what types of herbs could be used to diminish someone's power over another. Apparently a friend of this person had a, another person come into their life or, or had been previously and then was back again and it was causing an issue. So my little blurb to the question was use the magic of a restraining order it works every time to a pretty good degree that person that asked the question got a little bit mad or upset and said that they didn't post across a couple of magic subs for legal advice my reply back to that was this is a domestic problem not a metaphysical problem. And again, the reply to that was, this person is using dark magic to control her friend. My final uh, answer or, uh, or um, reply to that was, goddess forbid something should happen to that particular person, try explaining that to the police. They're not going to go with that explanation. Not one bit. Use common sense. Use what we have out there that is a known and effective resolution to a particular problem. Use magic and spell work as an addition or a um, booster of sorts to actually help 
rid yourself of that problem. Don't rely on it solely. It, it doesn't work that way. Remember, we are beings of free will. The goddess and the god are only out there to guide us, not to solve all our problems for us. Just wanted to make that clear with everybody because of a few things that I've seen and run into with that in the past. So now to a little bit more upbeat um, topic. You may or may not have guessed by now that where I live is in New York State. Some of you may have um, figured that out by now. Some of you actually, sorry, I care. Some of you actually know that um, at this point because of um, the uh, little giveaways that I've done and sent out the um, books and and stuff to everybody. Um, oh, and um, speaking of Mr. John Boyce, I have not had the chance to send out your cauldron kit yet. I will be getting a box for tomorrow, so within the next few days, I will get that out too. Um, again, so where I live is in New York State. And as of today, yesterday and today, um, marijuana has become legal for recreational purposes. Now, I'm going to state right off the bat that I don't smoke it. I used to a long time ago, but I don't anymore. Um, just for the simple fact that um, it has to do, or it had to do with, with my job and the risk and everything. Now I just... Um, I, I don't smoke it, but I advocate for it all the time because it has so many practical uses that this planet could benefit from, from the hemp side to the cannabis side. Uh, hemp, in my opinion, could be a planet-saving plant if we use it in the right uh, methods. So, yes, New York State went to legal recreational and I think this is great in so many ways one being that it's going to um, they're going to expunge a ton of um, criminal offenses so there are going to be so many people that are going to getting out of jail that shouldn't have been put there in the first place because I believe that marijuana is less dangerous than alcohol can be I've never seen anybody smoke a joint and get in a car, black out, and kill somebody. Whereas I've seen somebody drink a 6 or 12 pack, get into a car, and kill somebody. Um, sorry, let's get those cat here. Um, the next reason why I believe it's going to be a big benefit is because it's going to create literally thousands of jobs for people from the growing aspect of it to the um, retail aspect aspect of it. I think that it can help out when it comes to the employment situation as a lot of people did end up losing a lot of their work um, through this pandemic. So, And then my final thought on it and I'm going to start out by saying I do not um, this is my opinion I do not endorse or advocate for this this is totally your personal choice and if there are people younger than 18 watching these videos uh, take this with a grain of salt and do your research know your um, results that could possibly occur. I believe that it can be used in spiritual practices to help you become closer to the goddess and the god. Now, being as it's been a long time since I've been one to use or touch it, I don't know how it would affect me, but I know a lot of people have and actually do use it in their um, spiritual practices. 
And if it works for you, great. Like I said, it doesn't matter to me one way or the other. But as I said first, just um, know how you can handle it. And um, I've seen some people that actually will do a uh, spell or magic or circle work right immediately after uh, imbibing. And to me, that seems like it's just going to throw off your concentration and your intent. Now, after you do it, if you want to use it to connect to add more um, of a connection to what you just performed, great, by all means. If it works for you, excellent. Uh, I don't believe it would work for me just because of what I remember from it. But, again, it's total personal choice. So, yeah. Um, a great <laughs> tool for some of you. And for some of you, you may never, ever even think twice about it. So, um, that's all I really had for tonight. Um... Just wanted to mainly state about the fact about the biggest point to take away from this whole video is not to use magic as the sole solution to whatever problem it is that you've come across in your life. There are other more reliable, more time-tested and proven uh, resolutions that you should and can use magic should be just an aid or a booster for those uh, resolutions so that's all I have um, everybody hope that you're staying safe and staying healthy uh, we're getting closer to the end every day in my belief and hopefully be getting back to normal before very long here everybody have a blessed evening Graybeard Crowfather signing off. Blessed be.